Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create your own wine label and place it onto a wine bottle. I provided this image and this label template so you can follow along. Their links are located in the video's description or project files. If you'd rather choose another label, you can find many on the internet. Go to your browser and type in Wine Labels. In its search tools, choose Large Files. Scroll to the one you like and view it in its original size. Right click it and choose Copy Image. Go back to Photoshop and click File and New. When this window pops up, click OK. Press Ctrl V on a PC or Command V on a Mac to paste the label into it. Merge the two layers by pressing Ctrl or Command E. To remove existing text or images on the label and replace them with the same texture and color of the background, we'll use Content Aware. Open your lasso tool and in this example, draw a selection closely around the boat. Content Aware Fill works best in small sections. Go to Edit, Fill, and Content Aware. It instantly replaced the boat with the surrounding background. Delete the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command D. We'll repeat this with the word Vineyard. If we were to draw around the larger middle area and use Content Aware Fill, you'll see that the area is just too large. We'll use the Content Aware Move tool instead. Draw around an empty section of the background and simply drag it up. Repeat this until all the type is replaced with the background. Use these techniques for any label you choose for your wine. Let's go back to the original label. Open your Type tool and go to Window and Character. I'm using a font called Birch Standard. I provided the link for this font as well. I'll choose 46 points for the size. Click on the color box and I'll choose a dark brown, 30220E. Type out your text. If you want to move a line up, highlight it and drag the letting icon to the left. To center your text, open your rectangular marquee tool and drag a rectangle across your entire document. Go to your Move tool and click on the Align Horizontal Centers icon. Let's make a composite snapshot of the label. Press Ctrl Shift Alt E on a PC or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. To get it into our wine bottle image, press V to open your Move tool and drag it up onto the tab of the wine bottle file. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and then release. To resize the label, press Ctrl or Command T to open your Transform tool. Go to a corner and when you see a straight double arrow, press Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac and drag it in. To reposition it, click inside the transform and move it. To bend it so its shape wraps around the bottle, click on the Warp Transform icon. Click on Custom and choose Arch. Go to Bend and type in minus 23%. To accept it, click on the check mark or press Enter or Return. The bottom of the label conforms well to the contour and perspective of the bottle, but the top of the label needs to have less of an arch. Open your Transform tool and the Warp Transform again. Go to View and make sure Rulers is checked. Go to the top ruler and drag down a guideline to the top of the Warp Transform. Drag the top middle right point up to approximately the same distance as it is to the bottom of the arch. Repeat it for the top middle left point and then press enter or return. To hide the guideline, press Ctrl or Command H. We're ready to add lighting to the label. Let's close the text panels. 
Control click or command click on the label to make a selection of its shape. Click on the layer mask button to make a layer mask next to the label. Click on the label to make it active. Open your brush tool and make the size 60 pixels and the hardness 0%. Make the opacity 50% and the blend mode multiply. Click down just above the top left corner, press shift and click below the bottom left corner. Repeat this for the right side of the label. Let's add a reflective sheen to the lighter parts of the ornaments. Invert the foreground and background colors by clicking on the curve double arrow or by pressing X on your keyboard. Open your dodge tool and make the size 50 pixels and the hardness 0%. The range is highlights and the exposure is 100%. Brush straight down approximately a quarter of the way on both sides. Since the brightest reflection on the bottle is on the upper left, let's make that area of the label have a bit more sheen. Make the brush a bit larger and brush over it once more. Using these simple techniques, have fun making a wine label for yourself or someone else you know who loves wine. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.